Okay, today I'm going to show you how to clean your laminate blue orchard bee nests. Some tools that you're going to want to have uh, are scissors for cutting open the straps on your nest if you have them, a small dull screwdriver, uh, some forceps of some sort for picking out um, diseased or parasite larvae, and uh, a, a stiff brush for cleaning the nests. You'll also want a, a screen mesh for um, reducing the amount of small particles and dust. And then I like to have a, a bucket with water and a little bit of soap uh, for putting any uh, chalk brood larvae or parasites that, uh, or parasitic beetles, um, wasps, whatever. I'm going to show you another one of our pests that you will probably encounter in some of your nests, and that is chalk brood. It's right there. It's, uh, it's going to look like a dead C-shaped larva that is black. And this is where your forceps or uh, tweezers come in handy. Another, so I, I could pick this up gently and it should stay intact. You just don't want to be using your fingers and get the spores all over your fingers. That can go right into your soapy water. With your cocoons, this is how many I got out of that particular nest. And um, I'm gonna um, sift that a little bit. At this point, you can pick out other things that you don't want. Uh, maybe some excess pollen. You can also just simply wash it later. But with these cocoons, you can then put them into a container. You can use uh, cardboard boxes uh, or Tupperwares, but make sure to put a hole in your Tupperwares. I use a, a nail that I heat up and I melt holes uh, so that you get some air flow uh, also in the lid as well. So then you can put your cocoons in here and they're ready to be uh, stored in the refrigerator. And you can see some good nests here. I see some pollen masses or pollen balls that did not develop into a bee. This one looks pretty clean. So I'm just gonna start cleaning it out. And when I mean when I say clean, I mean as far as I didn't see any um, beetles, mites, uh, sapigia, stelis, chalk brood. Those are the main ones I encounter here in California. Tricrania beetle, stelis, cuckoo bee, um, sapigia wasp. Chocolate. I sometimes find mites, but not very often. If you live in a more humid climate, you're going to find more mites. Another thing that's useful to know when you're raising bees is which ones are males and which ones are females. Females are larger and usually fill up the entire width of the, the hole. Males tend to be shorter and narrower. So those ones to, uh, are females. Now this is all the same nest right here. So we have a female, female, the next one is that one. Uh, also female, female, female. And then we get up to here. That one looks like a male. Male, 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 male. So I would rate this one as five females and four males, which is excellent. Um, usually there's more males than female. Usually about two to one. Um, males for every female. Over here, female, 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 female. Sometimes you get ones that are a little uh, in between. Uh, take your best guess if you're trying to sort them. But again, five females, then one, two, three, four, five, six males. And uh, sapigia cocoons are smaller, more rounded on each end. Uh, they have kind of a cottony uh, silk around them, and they're they're harder. 
to, uh, when you squeeze them, squeeze them. So that's a sapigia. So here's a nest that I just opened and right away you notice something odd. Every once in a while you're gonna encounter a big mass of pollen and we don't really know why this happens, but I, I think of it as a bee who maybe um, is senile or just her programming got off, whatever. She just kept collecting pollen and never finished the cell, never laid an egg, and just was in that pollen collecting mode uh, over and over and over and over until you get this big mass of pollen. Yeah, I just opened this section of laminate and I noticed something that I wanted to show you, and that is a Stelis or Stelis cocoon right there. So we have some healthy cocoons in this nest, a couple of females and then three males, and then this one, which is a cuckoo bee called Stelis. And I'm gonna pull it out. One thing you notice about it is lots of curly frass. This is the fecal um, material. So lots of it, and it's curly. Uh, a pronounced nipple on this end of it. And we pry it out of there. Another thing about it is that it's quite hard. If you pinch it, it's gonna feel hard. And that, so that nipple is really characteristic and all this frass, so that is Stelis.